So you only afford one pair of dumbbells, what ones would you get? So, this is a question that like, I was wondering myself, like, I definitely want to get one pair of dumbbells, but I was unsure of what weight to get. Just because I want to get a full body workout that I can do at home with decent resistance. Definitely at the moment because dumbbells are so expensive. Like normally you'd pay around about two kilogram a dumbbell brand new, um, sometimes less. And especially if you go on uh, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, any of that sort of stuff, they are so cheap. But because of the current situation, everything's so expensive. Um, you're going to be paying between three pounds, four pound a kilogram, sometimes even more. So you are kind of paying double the amount. So at the moment, like I could afford one pair of dumbbells and going back six months ago, I could have probably bought two or three pairs. Best way to check what dumbbell you can get, either think of what you would normally do at the gym and I would go for biceps, that's like definitely biceps is one of the smaller muscle groups, one of the ones which it's harder to progressively overload. So choose a weight then you want to try and get about five on each arm. So one, two, three, four, in decent form as well. Ten. Right, so ten, so that's five on each arm. I probably got one more, so maybe six. So anywhere between four and six, that's probably the best sort of rep range. Just because then, just because biceps, like I said, are your lot weaker muscle and whatever you can do on biceps, you're probably gonna be alright for the rest of your body. It will still be decently challenging, but obviously over time, like well, that's five, give it I don't know, a month, maybe I can do eight or nine or ten, something like that. But this is to be the best value for your money by going for a weight you can do five with. So, now you've changed your weight, show you a full body workout you can get just with these dumbbells that will challenge every muscle, work every muscle, and hopefully, you know, put, put you on a bit of size. So let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna work on our legs. We're gonna do lunges. Um, you can do squats, but I prefer lunges to feel like um, it's more challenging, uh, especially with this sort of weight as well. So let's get in. I can just take a step back, but you can take a step forward whichever you want to do. So, back. One. Two. Four. Uh, try and keep as straight as you can. Um, I know a lot of times you do have the tendency to lean forward a bit just because you're holding the weights. But lunges are definitely a hard exercise. Um, even if I go out like that, you can still feel the challenge and uh, just generally build up your lower leg strength in general. So yeah, right. Next is back. Our back, straight up, down, and forth. Keep straight back. Once again, back to it. Next, we're going to go on to our shoulders. So it's this. Let's move the camera up slightly so you see me a bit better. Be careful with the light if you got one. I normally do more than this, but just for the sake of the video, I'm making it just a bit easier. Right, so with them shoulders, like I said, um, them standing up, it's so much harder than sitting down. Like sitting down, you can easily do 30 kgs, or, or I could easily do like 30, 35 kg shoulder press. Um, but standing up is like a whole new level, just because it uses a lot of core st uh, st stability, and you're literally not leaning against a backrest that you would on a normal bench. So like I said, even though it doesn't seem impressive, it is definitely still going to get the work. Uh, next, we're going to go on to our chest. So this is a bit different with chest, just because chest is a lot harder to hit. Like you, um, you tend to be a lot stronger in your chest and back than any other muscle muscle groups and legs, obviously. But we your chest, especially with me. So first of all, I'm going to push ups followed by floor press. Set the 
dumma så här. Har liksom så. It's just gonna pretty exhaust that chest. Right, as soon as you've done that, straight into a floor press. I don't think it's, it can be a bit awkward to get into a position, but work what you can. Um, your floor press. Uh, if you do your press ups first, it's gonna make it so much um, harder on your chest. Because 40, 20 kilogram in each hand dumbbell press is so easy, but doing it after press ups, it makes it so it's that bit harder. So you're probably probably the same as doing like 25 kg dumbbells because your chest is already fried from the push ups, and especially when you work down into like your third or fourth set, you're definitely gonna feel it. Okay, so next you're going to move into arms, now you're going to do biceps. I'm going to do bicep curls the same as I showed you at the start of this video. So if you twist at the top, it's always a bit more head to your bicep. You're definitely, you're definitely going to make some gains here. this. But um, I am sweating by the way at the moment when I'm filming this. Just because it's so hot outside at the moment, like, I don't know if you can see, but it's literally roasting. Probably one of the hottest days in England for a long, long time, uh, and I'm inside doing a workout, so probably not helping myself here for this video, but we move on, we move on. Right, now we're going to go and try a tricep exercise. Literally, this one's going to need one of your dumbbells. So, put it on your shoulder, over. We're just going to do some tricep extensions. Try and keep the elbows still. And then just move your forearms up and your wrist. And then that is literally the full body workout. If you want to add anything else you can do. Um, like I, you can have sit-ups at the end if you want. Just put your feet under the dumbbells or anything like that. But my front routine, I'm doing that. Um, every other day and in the middle so it's how I do that Monday, to, Monday, Wednesday, Friday the days in the middle, Tuesday and Thursday and Saturday I'm going for a run just because at the moment we're, we're trying to lose a bit of weight um, but obviously it depends what your goal is uh, if you know you're trying to add, add weight or anything like that it's obviously you ain't got to do the cardio but I just enjoy it at the moment so currently I'm doing that routine three days a week sometimes four um, and then I'm also doing my cardio the other three days a week. So this is just a quick video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Give you an idea. Um, you know, if you're struggling to get your dumbbells, um, I got mine off Facebook Marketplace. Um, just because online it's uh, really hard to get at the moment. But just check it out. Um, try the workout. Let me know if you've tried it. If you didn't like it, think any exercise I could add. Just let me know. So anyway, until next time. Thanks for watching. See you later. Thank you.